Hello viewers, um, right, we are going to do a huge, big, um, really impressed look at video today, for want of a better word, that was a bit of a shit description. Um, I'm going to look at all the current Doctor Who running press kits that are currently out. There is another one on its way, which is a Supreme Dalek, which if you're a Doctor Who fan you will remember is the red and gold one from the Season 4 two-part of final. Um, but these are the current lineup of Doctor Who figures uh, that are out for running press, right? So I'm going to push all these to one side and look at them individually. So let's put those over there. And goodbye you, and oh, we're left with our first one, the Sonic Screwdriver, the good old trusty screwdriver. Um, this one is based on the 11th Doctors, or and, and 12th Doctors you could say, because I did use it very briefly for about a minute on screen. Um, but uh, oh, a bit of a dent in this box. Um, as of all the other ones, there is a model and a booklet. So. First of all, let's have a look at the little booklet inside. Um, so here it is, the Doctor and his sonic screwdriver. Now I remember this booklet being quite interesting to read. Um, it talks about all the different Doctors and devices that they've used, and how they've used them, and how much they use them. Um, and even goes on to talk about Miss Foster's sonic pen from the Adipose episode something which we'll see a bit later on. Other sonic devices, so different devices that have been seen, River Song, Screwdriver, Lasers. It's quite an interesting little book, this. Um, so as all the others. I'm not going to go through. I'll say this before I go any of the others. I'm not going to show them on camera because it's boring reading the book on camera. But I'll talk you through a gist of what they have in there. So that's the box there, right? So let's look at the main event that everybody has come to see, the screwdriver itself. Yes, there it is. Not so amazing, is it? It looks a little bit poor, to be honest. They could have done a bit better of a job. This is permanently fixed in the open position, and there's the battery compartment there, and the little button to activate it is, is down there. A bit annoying, but um, pressing it illuminates this and emits a noise. Are you ready for this? This is great. How disappointing. Yes, unfortunately, it does use the same sound as the Sonic Screwdriver screwdriver, which admittedly sounds like a bit of a strange line, but I will, I will expand on that. The Sonic Screwdriver screwdriver is um, a device from uh, another company, which is a screwdriver in the closed position, and you pull off the bottom end and there is screwdriver pieces which fit into the bottom, so that's a. It makes the same sound as that. Um, but there it is. That is basically it. The detail is not too bad. Like it's got the nice little mesh style in there. Um, but that's about it. The claws look a little bit weird. It's. I'm not doing. I'm trying not to do a review of all these because I'm not. I don't want to review. I just want to show off what they are. Um, so people can decide whether to buy it or not, because that's what I do. I look on YouTube and I go, hmm, should I buy it? Mm, no. Anyway, so, there we go. That's the first one I ever bought, the Sonic Screwdriver, because I thought it would be quite cool. And it's not. That's great. Um, right, so after that I bought this one, the TARDIS. Doctor Who without the TARDIS isn't really Doctor Who, is it? Um, this has a nice little inside. Remember this didn't have a book? This has a fold out sort of strip. And for some reason, this doesn't really talk about the TARDIS at all. It talks about certain episodes where the TARDIS featured with each Doctor, where it was used a lot. It's a bit hard to show on camera all this. It's quite good actually because it's got a few little bits on it that are quite interesting there, right up to the 11th Doctor. Um, and that's quite interesting, a bit different from a book. The books are a bit boring after a while, but there's that there. So I'll put that back in the box and have a look at the TARDIS model. 
Let's put that there. Now, this is one of my favourite ones. Here it is. Um, the detailing is absolutely amazing. The wood effect. It's a bit shiny, but the blue is nice, and the St. John's Ambulance is good. Um, windows are nice there, but I absolutely love the wood effect, and it, it feels textured as well. And we can see the, the little thing will focus. Oh yeah, there we go. You can see that the little sign is there as well. Um, now, unlike other model TARDISes that are out there on the market, this one doesn't make a sound. This one, in fact, lights up. A little switch on the bottom there. And then we switch that. The lantern lights up. And that's creating quite a nice effect on camera. Mm. Um, this looks amazing in the dark. If you turn this on, it will partially illuminate a room. It is very, very bright. I mean, you can see in daylight here. It's shining quite well on my hand, and that's with the full day light coming in the window from over there. Um, but it's it's very very strong LED light in there, and it looks quite good sat on a shelf lit up. Um, a little bit brighter than the Enterprise model, which I, re um, I was going to say reviewed, not reviewed, because I've just said I don't review them, which I showed in the last video I did. I'm in a bit of a strange mood today. I'm rambling, as you can probably tell. So that is the TARDIS there. Um, very very good detail, it's one of my favourite ones this um, but that's that one there, let's put that to one side uh, the other one that I then bought after that is the K9 which is quite a big one, this is one of the deluxe mega kits because it's big, it's deluxe well, let's have a quick look at the, this one's still got some nice bubble wrap in it um, I don't think I've read this book yet actually because it still seems very un some instructions there on how to use canine and um, this one basically talks through the different canines right up to the canine mark and um, four which you can see at the back there um, but it, it just talks through where the adventures that all the different versions of canine were in um, an interesting little book there and the usual and this is the this is a really nice little model of K9. Um, it came in two bits. His little tail was off when it arrived. That comes on, and you just have to attach it to his bottom, <laughs> his bottom, the back of him, um, like that. Um, it's, it's very. This is. I'd say this is a little bit more detailed than the TARDIS. There, you can see his little 80s Volkswagen Golf grill. Let's call it Volkswagen Golf grill. Because he used to be on the back of the vault. So anyway, let's not go into that. It might just be me. His collar actually is made of like a, a vinyl material, so it does move around. Um, got the canine there. On the top there, we've got the little control panel. Now this is what we do to press. He makes light and sound as canine. Um, all from the front here. You can see the little hole for his blaster there lights up as well. There's no actual blaster in it though, but. Does light up, his tail moves a little bit, simulating wagging. Um, but no, it's quite a detailed model. This it seems to have lots of little things. It's got some wheels on the bottom as well, so he will he will roll around. There he goes. It's very good. I like K9. He only does make the one sound though, which is a little bit disappointing, but nothing major. Thank you, K9. You can sit over there quite happily. Right, now these four are the most recent ones that I bought. Um, we'll have a look at another light effect one first. The, another deluxe mega kit. This is the Weeping Angel. So it's, it's very nice model, this actually. This one, because it's a little bit fragile, it, it comes in a, a proper polythene sort of polythene, plastic, something. Made of Somerset. Now this book is pristine. I've not even read this yet, so let's see. Ooh, hello. So what does, and is he, I don't even know what this is. Trends of law, history and legend, weeping angel abilities. Ooh. Different types of angel. Oh, this will be from that episode where you know a vision of an angel becomes an angel, sort of thing. But that's quite a good book to read, actually. Not bad. Yeah, well, that seems a pretty cool little book. I'm not going to read it on camera. As I keep saying, I'm not going to say that again. I'm just going to put it away, and you'll know that's what I mean. 
Um, let's pop that back in the box. It tastes quite sturdy, this box, because of that nice little insert. Maybe I should all have inserts. I quite like the insert. Um, so that's the box there. Leave the guff on the bottom. Blah -de -blah. Put you up there. And this is the statue. It's it, it's very nice. I like the little writing on the bottom there. Don't blink, scrolled. The statue itself looks like stone. It's made of like a hard plastic. I'm beginning to wonder if this is the same sort of material that the um, Cyberman and Stone, Cyberman and Dalek were covered in um, from character options release not so long ago. I think it's about a year, maybe two years ago. Um, but they've got a nice sort of stone effect there and it does feel quite textured and rough. Um, and now if we, the sun's coming in as you can tell because it's gone a bit dark which is quite handy actually because this is another white one. If we switch this switch underneath, oh, it's a bit stiff that. We get this nice sort of light shining up on it. You can imagine that it'd be blinking and moving. The arms are a little bit more flexible so you can move them around a bit. They don't stay where you move them, but they, they always go back to the original pose. But it's good that they're not as rigid as the um, rest of it, the wings don't move, they are definitely not movable. But the nice little light there again, it looks quite good on display with the light shining up at the angel's face. And the nice little one. The switch is stupidly hard to switch underneath. It just doesn't... There we go. That is it. That is a very hard switch. Very, very hard. They don't want you to turn it off. Okay. So that is that one. Now let's see everyone's favourite or not favourite. A bit of an am not used too much now. The Daleks, aren't they? Now this book, if I remember rightly, talks about the different Daleks and stories. The Daleks, the last great time war, the new paradigm sort of other multicoloured Daleks. I think basically goes through all the different Daleks that we've seen throughout the time. A nice little book to look at. We're not bothered about the box, are we really? Let's look at the main event. The Dalek itself. I'm, I've seen so many reviews of Daleks online, so many different models that they, they, they sort of get a bit same old, same old. Um, the gun and plunger don't extend above that height, so that's it. The plunger's a little bit weak as well and it, it can twist because it's obviously got some sort of ball joint in there. Uh, the eye stalk. Uh, or the head, first of all, will move side to side. I don't think it's going to go all the way around. Oh no, it will. There we go. It goes all the way around. It's a bit stiff to move. The eye stalk doesn't stay up. Why do we put it level? We go put it down. He has a, a limp stalk. Let's not say that again. Um, the Dalek bumps around the bottom. Um, I say that with the curse of fatal death. If you haven't seen it, it's very very funny. They're not breasts, they're Dalek bumps. Jonathan Price, fantastic. Um, mesh there in between the gold bits. That's brilliant. Um, but that's about it. That's 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 all it does. It's got some wheels on the bottom. Not very good wheels. You don't really do sort of glide across the desk there. But. That's that. So let's go back to one side and have a look at that. We've only got two left. We're pushing in 13 minutes here, I know. Thank you for sticking with it. If you're not, then thank you not for watching. Um, Adipose, another deluxe kit. Um, you can tell this is going on far too long because I'm slowly losing the world to live. Another book that I've not read. Now, I can't imagine what they'd be saying about the Adipose in this 32 page long book that's here. Well, it might be 32 pages, I don't know. No, it's 43. Um, because they're only ever in one episode. Shadow Proclamation, spread among the stars. So really, it's, it's extending a book into... I don't know, but there's probably not that much in there that you don't know. They only ever appear in one episode fully. So that's that. The Adipose... Logo is on the front here. Speaker on the bottom, which indicates sound. Yes, you're right. It's made of this nice rubbery material. It's very. 
don't know, plasticy. I get the plasticine feel. It's not, because it doesn't mould. But it's it's made of that, and you can see the little tooth that it's got there, which is quite a nice detail. The very basic models, so that that's that's all there is to them. Um, when you press its tummy, it makes a nice little squeak. That is the adipose noise that it makes. Um, I did watch the show not so long ago that they're in, and they do kind of make that little noise there. And last and by every means least, yes, I did just say that, we have the Cyberman bust. Now, even the Batman bust did something. This doesn't. It's absolutely nil flat. Here. History of the Cybermen. Probably a decent little book, this. Cyber Wars, Cyber Variants. Cyber Variants is probably a good chapter. Nice. Oh, is that it? Oh, I thought it'd be like a, a few pages that, but no, there you go, that's the extent of it. There you go, that's that's all the cyber variants summed up in two pages, not even full pages. Oh yeah, it um, amazing, yeah. Kind of a bit of a let down that I haven't seen that before, but oh well, I didn't read it when I got it, I just wanted the model. Um, oh, and let's have a final look. There it is. Um, credit where it's due, it does look very shiny and it does look like metal. It's not, it's plastic, but it does look like metal. I think this is based on the Cybermen from. Um, Nightmare in Silver, is it? I think so. Yeah, Nightmare in Silver onwards. Because um, it's got that Iron Man chest look about it. Um, but yeah, no, they, it is. That's, that's about it. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't move. It doesn't talk. It doesn't light up. Admire its beauty. That is it. That's um, so. There you go. They are the Doctor Who kits that we've got there. Um, I can't put them all on camera. I use an iPhone to film these, and stupidly, the field of view is ridiculously small, so I can't fit them all on camera um, to finish off the shots, which is a bit annoying. I'll tell you what, let's put them all on the boxes there. I'll just get them there. Screwdriver. Uh, I don't know why the sonic screwdriver is in a huge box. It doesn't need to be. And I will lift it up there. There we all are. All there. Um, so they are the six running press kits that we've got from the Doctor Who selection. Um, right, the next, I think I've got two running press videos left. A relatively short one and a very short one because I've only got two. And they will be the Batman and a yawn then, I'm sorry. The Batman and the Harry Potter ones. Um, and I will upload those at some point. The last videos I uploaded didn't go in HD, which is very annoying. Um, so hopefully these, this video that I upload will be in HD. And you'll be able to see the detail a bit better. But as always, I will finish with my usual spiel. Thank you very much for watching. If you could share the video... Fantastic, that would be great. Also, if you could subscribe to my videos, even better. And if you can get other people to sub subscribe and watch my videos, that would be fantastic as well. I, As I keep saying, I have got a whole massive room full of collectibles and toys, not some ne necessarily running press kits. Different figures and toys from Star Trek, Doctor Who, Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet. Um, that's about it, actually. Yeah, just them. Um, and a Star Wars toy, which I will look at soon because I got it for six quid and it's supposed to be 40. So I will look at that very soon as well. Um, but thank you very much for watching and enjoy your Sunday.